Okay, next up um, is from Kellogg's Cocoa Pops, um, 1987, a set of transfers. It's Coco the monkey. Not too sure the other characters' names. Um, I think my sister liked Coco Pops more than me. Um, I always preferred sugar puffs, cornflakes. So um, yeah, we don't have many. Don't have many Cocoa Pops toys. I've got one or two others. I think we've got another one here actually, which is 1989, uh, unopened, a sticker and a card. So I'm not too sure what the character's name is there. Go, okay, now that's Coco, Coco the monkey. Now. Kellogg's cornflakes. I have a few of these. They're like mini airfix kits. So you put together a aeroplane. There are, I think there are six again in a set. I have two different ones here. Oh, pieces fallen out. This one here. I had loads of these, absolutely had loads of these. So the pieces come out of packaging here. I think the other two that I have are the same. It's the first one I showed you, they're just breaking up inside the packet now, but I used to love putting those together. And the other favourite of mine, um, that Kellogg's Corn Flakes used to issue, were the ones where you put uh, baking soda in and then pop them in a bowl of water or your bath and they 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 chugged off so here we go here's a ship and then what you do is open it up pop in some baking soda put the lid down and away it would go off it would go so I had a boat and also a submarine we go. So again you lift the top off, put the baking soda in there, place it back up and away you would go in the bath. So I had quite a few of those. Now next I have Again, I believe issued by, I think it's Kellogg's Complex, I could be wrong, um, is Dungeons and Dragons Holograms, which issued in 1986. It was six to collect. In this particular one, I don't know if you can see it very well. the other one. Someone, oh, someone behind some bars. Let's try the other one that I have. Yeah, the light's not too good in here. I think there may well have been Shreddies that issued these. I could be completely wrong. Anyway, jumping, jumping forward to 1996. I only have one of these. Um, issued before the, the famous Euro 96 football tournament. Not too sure which goalkeeper that is. Oh, it's Andy Gorham. Virtual video collection. Now, I did have the full set, but I don't know where they've all gone. He's taking, it looks like taking his goal kick. And then a Kellogg's Cornflakes, Prehistoric Monsters and the Present. Now you see the giraffe, now you don't.
Next we have a reflective to put on your bike, in your spokes on your bike. You should buy Kellogg's Corn Flakes. There's six of these to collect. What year is that? That is... Can't quite make it out, I think. Nineteen, I think it's nineteen eighty-eight. Now, I'm not too sure what if this did come out of a cereal packet at all or not, but I believe it's one of the PET aliens. If that's the right way to pronounce it, pet aliens. PET. Now, I'm not too sure if, the, if this was in my box of all my other little bits and bobs. Um, so, not too sure if this is something out of a cereal box or if it's from somewhere else. Maybe it's appeared out of nowhere because it's an alien. Anyway, if someone could maybe tell me, leave a comment. Very much appreciated. Right, 1992. This is, this is how random it is. I have from Ke Kellogg's Corn Flakes an Olympic Champions um, card. Uh, number 19 in a series of 20 guides to track and field athletics. I think this was done before the Bar 1992 Barcelona Olympics. So, there we go. Some facts there. Uh, so, for example... Uh, okay, the triple jump UK record is held by a K Connor of England in 1982. 17.57 metres. Well, at the time, anyway. So, I only have one of those. Now, next, I believe these were from Shreddies. These were issued in 1989 um, in respect of the Ghostbusters 2 film. So, there's a set of stickers. Kick some slime. And then on, a, on the back, there's a transfer. And I believe you used to iron these on. You could iron these onto your clothes, on your T-shirt. Um, that's one of Ghostbusters. We've got another one here, actually. This one's starting to peel. Slimer. Now next I have another random item from Shredded Wheat. Home and Away. Trivia sticker book. Six to collect. Now this is from 1987. 1987. So I believe that was an interview with Adam Willis. Willits. Leave the centre pages here are the stickers um, of the two. There's Adam, and the other chap is Stephen. Not too sure who that lady is. We well, did used to watch Home and Away when it first came out. So yeah, I believe there were six of these to collect. I've only got the one I think my sister kept the, kept the rest. Anyway, moving on. From Kellogg's Cornflakes, um, 1995, we have Casper. Casper stickers. I believe these were luminous stickers. They're very long. I believe they are stickers. I'm sure they are. They are indeed. Yes, still sticky after all these years. I believe these glow in the dark. I believe there were six of these to collect as well. Unfortunately, I don't have the full set. And there's one of some of Casper. Six 
Casper and the Ghostly Trio. And this one, oh, seems to have fallen apart. A little bit, there we go. You can imagine him saying, Whoa! Go. Right, so just a few other random bits uh, in my box. I thought I might as well show you. A token to collect, looks like a free model van. I'm not too sure what year this dates from, but this is from Shred Wheat. Um, <laughs> Best Before 1987 from a one of a Kellogg's Cornflakes box. Ah, Kellogg's Frosties. I've only got a part of this. Kellogg's presents Tony's Magic Show, Magic Tags. Tony makes it easy for you to amaze your friends from 1987. Unfortunately, don't really have a lot more information on that. There's, there's only this piece of card. Um, and lastly, oh, we have a Mars bar wrapper from 1987. Too sure what that's doing in there. But Mars free, free sport football pack from 1987. Okay, well, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, some random items there from things I've collected um, when I was uh, a wee boy back in the 80s and early 90s. Um, if I find any more, I'll uh, gladly put Put, put them on YouTube. So, um, hairy news, signing off. Bye.